dinner tonight is going to be simple. Nate is going to make this on the grill. I have two bags left out of four from the Tattooed Chef Cauliflower Stir Fry from Costco. Love this. It's so good. So we'll have two of these. Got two folded plant eggs left. We're going to dice those up and then it'll be like the egg in here. And then the Beyond Steak Plant Paste Seared Tips. These are awesome. These are also from Costco, like the big bag. And we only have that much left. We'll finish her off. And then some teriyaki sauce to put on that. Some seasonings, you know, the drill. Thanks. It's cold. We're gonna all stand by this. <laughs> all right. Oh. So we technically got snow here yeah. yesterday. One of my delivery drivers had to drive through it yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. It was all throughout town, but like certain parts of the valley, it didn't stick. And like our house specifically, we didn't like see any. But actually, can you see that mountain over there? Basically, all the mountains surrounding Vegas uh, are coated. And so it, it's cold. Now, yeah, and we'll, I'm going to say that, and then we got to preface it with, like, yeah. we're, we're new at this. Because <laughs> it's not really There's cold. some of you were pretty cold right now, I'm sure. And, that's not and they're laughing the, at us. Not the same cold, man. Yeah. Not the same cold. Are we finishing? Yeah, yeah just finish it. But it was... Uh, 37 degrees when I went on my run and it was cold and uh I think yesterday it got to like 28 degrees is like a low and it was raining all day but like just nothing hard but just kind of steadily and I guess yeah it was snowing a little bit these are good yes they are Pop them up and put them mm -hmm. in with the rice when they cook up. Mm -hmm. Little pro tip though, since you keep these frozen, the just egg, uh, plant folded egg is like what it's called. Pop it in your toaster like a pop tart. Uh -huh. Super simple to make it that way if you're adding it to like avocado toast. It's delish. Sometimes you have to do it twice in the toaster since it is frozen, but it works really well. And then we'll just put teriyaki sauce on that. And then this will just season up with like garlic powder, onion powder. It doesn't really need much. It's actually really good on its own. It's so yummy. It's so good. You can pretty much find that, well, not anywhere, but a lot of places, Whole Foods included. The Just Egg liquid is pretty easy to find now, but the folded one is a little bit harder, but it's good. It looks like chicken from this angle. I don't know why, but it's got really good texture. Thanks. That's good. That's good. All right. Thanks. All vegan, my friends. It can be done.
Okay, move over oatmeal cake. Like, this is the new girl in town. <laughs> I'm making overnight oats. I'm going to do two of them. One for Nate, one for me in the morning. This is one banana. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad. It's, uh, it's, it's, when you lose the sun, it's all kinds of shadows. But this is one banana, and we're going to, like, kind of half it. I got a little bit of this uh, vanilla here from Trader Joe's. Now I just ran out of the like vanilla bean paste. It's like a seasonal one through the holidays. And I wish I had that cause that would be perfect in it, but this will work. And I did it eat last night and we both had it today and we loved it. So I mentioned to you, I went to this place called neighbors recently and they do this overnight oats. I mentioned it was oatmeal and I didn't specify that it's actually cold. So I'm assuming it's like an overnight oat, right? And it is so good, but it's with chia seeds, which I don't love, but we're loving this right now. And I think I've kind of recreated it. So, so half a cup of oats in each one, one tablespoon each in each one. Nate said he wants his just a little bit sweeter. So this is this brown sugar kind of alternative. It is so good. It really is. I just don't love sweet oats. So for me, it's not like a must, but we can add a little bit of that into his I'll link it below. It's on Amazon that I get. It's like pure cane, I think is the, no, that's not it. I can't remember the brand, but I'll link it. It's really, really good. Zero calorie. And it's like killer brown sugar, a little bit of almond milk. We're going to do one cup, a little dash of this. And that is it with the banana half and half is so good. Let's do it. And it's really close to that place I was telling you about just don't love chia seeds um, but one of you even mentioned that like grinding them up first and then uh, making the pudding that way without them being like the whole seed still totally changes the game and I could see that I could so I will try that because this is gonna make it grow on me I know it okay so I'm gonna put a little bit of this into Nate's there we go I'll do a little bit of this just a little dash. I need to get more of that actually. But yeah, like vanilla bean would be like perfect, but this is okay too. Let's do like half of our banana. I don't know if the banana is super crucial to it, but it was definitely creamy. It was. Just make sure you have a ripe one. I'm one handed here. <laughs> Good old stir, AKA chopstick. Just give it a stir and then just put it in the fridge. And then in the morning, you are good to go. It'll be thick, creamy. Delicious. Really, really good. And I always like add cinnamon and stuff to my oats, but like, and I'm sure it'd be good in there. But this specifically is like more so about like the vanilla flavor coming through. And it does. It's just like chia seeds look like little bugs. <laughs> this is how we dress. When it was 28 degrees this morning, <laughs> the pool was iced. Yes, it was, but now it is bright and sunny. It is warming up. Gotta get this workout done. But I actually just filmed, edited, exporting right now, actually, um, the Wonder Egg, my friends. Oh my God, it's so weird, but it works. It does. So that's gonna go up. I'll start uploading it and then I'll go. But I wanted to give you the update on the oats. Gotta show it to you the next morning. Look, it looks like little bugs. <laughs> Eat up. But it's good. It is really good. I actually, I don't know who is she anymore, but I don't like to eat before uh, working out. I just do my coffee. That's what I do. And I actually had half of this yesterday in the morning and then worked out and then had the other half later. It's so good. Gosh, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Why is the lighting making this look so dark? Hold on, you need to see. See, it's, it's lighter, it is. It just works, it does. Yum. 
But why does it look like little bugs? It's little bugs. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. It says it's still 38 degrees out, but it's when it's sunny, it's not so bad. But man, the ice is already gone on the pool, but I have a picture. I do. It's happened once before that I have seen. It doesn't last long. We ain't going ice skating on it. It's not like thick or nothing, but it was, it was coated. It was. Oh, by the way, I just ordered these. It just came in this morning. I actually just ordered this pair of jeans, jeggings. I originally purchased these. I think they're the same. Yes. Years ago at Nordstrom Rack on a whim. It's by the Democracy brand. Looks like that there. These are identical. Yes. Okay. And I got them in a size eight at that time and they're very stretchy they're they're a jegging you know and <laughs> you know how you have your jeans uh whether they're jeggings or not jeans that you put in the dryer and then you wear them and it's like oh okay either it's too tight or it's like just right <laughs> well they've hit the stage of like even out of the dryer they're just too loose like in my legs with all that running i swear Sometimes you don't notice the changes, my friends. And then I go, okay, that's not a jegging now. Just saying. So I took a chance and I was like, I'm gonna see, are they on like Amazon? Can I get them there? Sure enough, these are them. So I got the identical pair, one size down, and I think we are gonna be all set. I love them, they have them in tons of colors too, but I'll link them, they're, they're good, they're good. I, I never thought I was a jegging girl, but here we are, comfortable, very comfortable, but anyway. Let's go check on the video. By the way, I don't know why this just clicked for me right now, but guess who got their official first jury duty summons in Nevada? She did, she did. This is crazy. I am 37 years old. I have never done jury duty. Half true. I mean, it's true, but I had one time one time where I got the summons and I had to report and go in the big waiting room and then they start to, I guess, select you from there and all that, never got past that part. So I've never even gone really past the stage of just being in the big room. <laughs> and that's it. In all my years, since 18 years old, when it can happen, no. That's crazy, right? Well, I got my first one, I did. I may postpone it just a little bit because if I was selected or whatever, it's like during like school time and stuff. And like, that's going to be kind of hard to get the kiddo off to school. Nate works super early most of the time. It's just, you know, so I'm thinking of like just postponing it a little bit till I'm like school's out. Mostly I haven't done anything with it yet, but I did. I did. Have you done jury duty? I'm sure you have. For Nate, the joke is, is he, like, he's done a lot. And he has had like year after year for many years, probably like the first 10 years after being 18, he had jury duty all the time. And I'm like, not me, they don't want me, but uh, he hasn't gotten one here yet, but I bet he will, I'm sure he will next. But yeah, it happened. Okay, we are officially Nevadans, not that there was a question, but let's go check the video. Oh, she is exported. Let's start the upload. Let's get this. Uh-huh. We got the thumbnail done. We ahead of the game. Let's get this going. Sometimes our internet speed is like, I can't even fill out the description box and it's already done like so fast. And then other times she does what she wants. <laughs> All right. Wonder egg, taste test, or should we say new vegan hard boiled eggs. Okay, I like that. And new vegan hard boiled eggs, wonder egg, taste test. What do you think, little dog? Do you think that's proper? That should work. Here we go. I do the things. I did not use foul language. And then we gotta add our end screen. Do you 
care about this at all. <laughs> Move this down. Sometimes it auto does it in the right spot. Sometimes it does not. And put that there. And that there. And most recent. And we save it. And that's it. And we'll do it unlisted first while it gets checked. We already at 27%. Okay. Thrive Market texting. Valentine's Day is a right around the corner. By the way, I mentioned to you 25% off candy. I'm in. It, during Vlogmas that we are going to be going to Temecula in February. Well, it is officially February and we are going in about two and a half weeks. Very exciting. We have to do it. We have to go. You got to hold down the fort. I know it will be hard, but, but there will be treats. They will be stocked, but you only get them if you're good. I know it's hard. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. But, you know, Grandma will be here, and I'm gonna tell her that you don't always get a treat all the time, but it's Grandma, so you'll, pro <laughs> you'll probably work out just fine, I'm sure. Thank you for your time. We are, <laughs> we are going uh, in a couple weeks. And that'll be really nice for uh, just a little vacation for sure. But yeah, the kiddo will still be here for school and stuff. Um, my mom's coming in to house sit this thing right here. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang out with the kiddo and stuff too. We're only gonna be there for like three days. Three, three, yeah. And we're driving, it's about four hours-ish. And because I don't fly, I hit my quota once every 10 years. That's it, mm-hmm. Really? Really. All right, my friends. Really, I just wanted to show you the oats. Now it was all this. Nate came home real quick. We have to go and get one of his vans for work. Oh, do it from the side a little bit. No, you're good. Just kind of pop it though from like. You see me popping yeah, it? Yeah, it's like right there you go. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. I want your first reaction. Uh, it's, it, it, it's slimy. It's, it's like an egg. Here. So then it feels like it's a hard freaking egg. nuts, right? That's weird. All right. Give it a whirl. It's gonna blow your mind. Isn't that wild? It's eerily weird. <laughs> it's weird. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Because it's good. Yes. It's it. <laughs> yeah, I I had the same like reaction. I don't know how to describe it, but the egg white part too, right? Like yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> what is what it? is it? It's um different, right? It's isn't that a trip? Is that a good amount that I put? Yeah. It definitely needs this though, because I tried a little bite first without it, and it really doesn't have that much flavor at all. It smells, it smells because of that salt. But when you put that on it, it just works. It's a trip, right? If you were blindfolded, if you were blindfolded, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Right? Like it's that. Oh, it's it that stinks. Much. It's it smells like hard boiled or like deviled eggs, hard boiled eggs in the fridge. Uh, almost like I want to do, do like, like egg a salad. Yeah, yeah like egg a salad. salad. Like an egg salad sandwich. Yep, I agree. I think it would work for sure. Like you, you just salt it. Yeah. And then you just yeah. <laughs> little a little bit, bit of vegan, vegan mayo, mayo and, and a mustard. Bit of pepper. Yeah. And mayo or mustard on the bread. I think relish is like popular for a lot of people, but you know me, I ain't gonna do that. But. It's not bad, right? I know. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's, I mean, you did it. You did it. You, <laughs> you did it. That's cool. 
thought I'd show you those jeans. They're perfect. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Just slightly smaller, identical. Love, but the best. He hates my car. <laughs> I gotta go pick up his delivery van. He needs me. All right, we're back. And he surprised me, he's taking a half day. That's nice. We got some sweet potatoes just cubed up. We're going back to the grill. Pickles for you. He cut onions. Onion. He's dying. <laughs> and uh, grill up these onions. Uh oh, there's a bad pickle. Ew, they're all bad. Gross. <laughs> Impossible burgers. One of my favorite things. And then wrapped in lettuce. Delicious. That's it. And just grill these up. Oh, yes. I love this thing. I saw, actually, it's a different brand. I think it's Blackstone. Blackstone is another pop. And it's on sale right now at Sam's Club for, I believe, 150 bucks. Yeah. Which it's is the smaller one. Is it a smaller? It's 30 inches. Yeah. Okay, but that's pretty good still. We love this thing. I mean, the only technically like semi downfall is you kind of do have to use a fair amount of oil. Cause it's kind of, it's cast iron. Yeah, it's I mean. cast iron, you got to do that. Yeah. Or it just... I mean, it tastes wonderful, but if you're someone that doesn't like to use oil very much, like that's the only thing, mm. but it's so good. Nothing like a hot grill and just onions hitting it. Oh yeah. That's just that is like backyard barbecue, <laughs> old school. Yeah, I will say, because you kind of get like camping vibes from it, which by the way, this is how this all began. We went camping at an Airbnb, I mean, I mean, glamping, and <laughs> they had one and we used it and that rest was history. We got one like two weeks later. Well, I remember even when we were there too, it was one of those. We were I looking like, it I'm up. Going home and, getting one of these. <laughs> and then I saw that they had the 30 inch yeah. and I was like, they make a 36 inch. I'm doing it. I'm done. Done. <laughs> Father's Day gift. But it doesn't necessarily like, you know how like campfire food, like because you're cooking over a flame, it's like it gives you those vibes, but it's still propane. It's not, but yeah. but it's good. But it's like the griddle that you use yes. on the campfire. Yes. Yeah. And now you wouldn't even know it was so cold. Ice is melted in the pool. Yeah. And then we're using um, the barbecue 101 seasoning from Trader Joe's on the burgers. That is my favorite. That's just salt and pepper, um, or pepper and garlic powder. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the barbecue 101, delicious. <laughs> Thanks. And then you just take it and just kind of wrap it up like that when you're gonna eat it. So good. Oh yes, these onions are so delicious. I love the follow your heart blue cheese crumbles on my burgers. I'm just out of it right now, but this is delish. But I do recommend that. Pickles for you. For you. You need to throw a bite back on that dirty plate. I'm perfectly fine with it and all. <laughs> okay. Done. Done and done. <laughs> Thank you.